guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started in today's video, I just wanna stop really quickly and just say thank you for the recent love and support that you guys have shown me on my reveal video about my collaboration with ColourPop. I really can't thank you guys enough for the continuous support and love and uplifting comments that you guys show and leave me. I want you guys to know that I am so thankful and so grateful for this online family that I have and just the support you guys have shown. I would not be here where I am today without any of you guys and I just want you guys to know that. I also want you guys to know that I have filmed this this message like three times already because the first two times I cried. Third time I was just like blabbing on and then now I'm just like, okay, I got it. We got this down. We have a makeup tutorial to get through. So let's go ahead and do this. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a first look using my brand new collection with ColourPop through my eyes. And this is a look that I decided to go with. And this is mainly because of you guys. A huge request on my Instagram to recreate the look from the photo shoot. So here it is right here. I'm actually recreating this look that Makeup by Gilbert did for me and he nailed it. So this is the look right here. I hope you guys are excited about it because it is bomb and you guys are gonna see the colors put to use. Also, if you guys have any requests on more looks you wanna see me do with my palette, let me know because I'm about to start whipping out so many looks with this palette and really showing you guys how to get all types of eyes with it. So without further ado guys, go ahead and grab your favorite snack and let's just get into this video. Oh, I'm very excited. Mm. So I'm gonna be going in first with my Thayer's, Thayer's, I can be pronouncing that wrong. This is the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula in the Cucumber Scent. And this is a really nice alcohol-free toner that I love. I use this day and night and I just add it onto a little cotton pad like this. It gives me an extra squeaky clean finish on my skin. It takes off any excess dirt and oil. As clean as my skin was, was it really? You know? All right, so next I'm gonna go in with my serum. I'm actually gonna be adding two of them and this is ones I've been loving lately. So the first one is this from Youth to the People and this is their Kel Trip Peptide 5 Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is gonna just help to firm and brighten your skin. It also has a ton of superfood in here and I'm totally running low on this but this is one that I'm really loving and I do just about two pumps onto my fingers. I really just like pressing my hands over everything. It feels incredible. And next I'm gonna go in with the Mirab Red Elixir Recovery Serum. This is another favorite of mine. I'm just gonna add it kind of in the middle and then all over my skin. So this one just helps to re-energize, renew, and smooth your skin. It's also really great for stress lines. If you guys are stressed out, this is definitely a product you wanna check out. I love that this one just instantly brightens me up. It gives me like a really nice instant radiant glow. I love it. Moving on to moisturizers. This is a new one that I have not played with up until about a week ago and I really like it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Magic Cream and this is a instant turnaround moisturizer. Gives you hydration instantly. I think it's all it really says on here. Anyways, this is like a little uh, sample one. Smells like a rich person. Oh yeah, this smells very, very expensive. I always like to actually touch my face after. I like to feel the texture of everything. I like to see if my skin really changes. When I use my products, I notice like an instant plump um, and softness and like suppleness. We almost forgot my eye cream as well. I picked up my favorite Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. And this is just like I've always said to you guys, one of my favorite eye creams for many reasons. Just instantly brightens, creates like a really nice base for underneath of your makeup. That's the one thing that's how everybody just take your time with your skincare. And you know, we gotta protect our skin as much as we can. So do me a favor for 2019. Promise me that you guys are gonna take skincare seriously. You're gonna do your regimen. You're gonna drink your water. You're gonna remove your makeup off every single night. Let's commit to skincare this year. Now that I have my eye cream on, I'm actually gonna use my little Clarisonic Mia Smart. Um, I highly recommend getting this head if you guys can. You can attach it to any Clarisonic, but you guys, this thing is literally a lifesaver underneath of your eyes. I use it until the battery runs out. It's a little massager and it feels so good. It just feels like someone's like massaging underneath of your eyes. And I noticed within a week of using this, my underneath my eyes felt a lot tighter. So I do this a lot whenever I'm exhausted, whenever I'm hungover, or whenever I just am not feeling lazy. There's sometimes I'm so lazy and I forget to do it, but oh, it's so worth it. See these balls on my face? 
They feel good though. Now that my skincare is done, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my eye makeup. I am gonna be doing my eyebrows off camera. I find it to be just kind of a little boring. It takes a while. I will, however, get you guys a new updated eyebrow tutorial very soon. But let's go ahead and just zoom in into the eyes. Come on, come on, zoom in, come on. Closer, come on, come on. Taking in first the P. Louise eyeshadow base, and I'm gonna be applying this all over my lid. This is my go-to, absolute favorite eyeshadow base that I love to use with all my eyeshadows. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Nostalgia and apply this all over my lid. I'm taking this in with a super large fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M501. And sweeping this all over my eye. This look is gonna be very just blown out, no harsh creases anywhere. You really just want it to all blend seamlessly together. But it's important that you use a big brush similar to this. Now I'm taking in the e.l.f. 205 brush and smoothing it out right towards the front of the eye and then just packing it up a little bit higher kind of into the brow bone. So now I'm gonna take in the shade and Misbehave and that same Morphe M501 brush and sweep that over the shade Nostalgia. Next I'm gonna go in with the shade Lomo and apply this all over my lid. This is such a hot, hot, hot color. I feel like this is gonna be popping in springtime, but I really fell in love with the shade because it's in between a pink, a watermelon, and a red, kind of combined together, and I love that about the shade. This color is hot sauce. And it's actually a lot brighter in person. Like right now, I feel like it's like at a level like seven bright. In person, it's like a good nine. So next I'm going in with the shade Divina and adding it to my lash line and then from there I'm going to start lightly blending it into my crease. I did it this way because I, because I don't want it to be such a hard crease. I want this to be, again, very blown out, very soft, but I still want to add a hint of that eggplant purple. So just kind of slowly build it up. So I'm just wiggling that brush very softly into the crease, blending all these shades together. So moving on to my eyeliner now, I'm going to be using the MAC Black Track Gel Liner and create a very sharp wing with this. And from there, we're just gonna go ahead and start moving it in. And then from there, I'm gonna create a really thin wing. So I like to start this at the very corner, bottom of the eye, flick all the way out, and then connect it all together. And I'm now just gonna add a little bit of that eyeliner into the inner corner of my eye. This is really going to enhance the shape of my eye and make it look very exotic. And I'm probably gonna have to touch it up anyways, but I wanna add it now so that I don't forget. And lastly, this is a preference, but I love doing this, just grabbing a tiny bit of concealer and cleaning up my wings. This just gives it such a fierce look. And then for my mascara, I'm just gonna go in with my Lancome Monsieur Big. Just do a few coats. I need to give you guys a look very soon with no falsies. I just love wearing fake lashes, but I do need to do some with just some mascara. So maybe in the new year, I'll give you guys some fresh, nice looks. And then for lashes, I'm just gonna pop on my favorite Miami from Lily Lashes. All right, so now that we have finished up the eye, I'm gonna go ahead and back up the camera and get started on my face. Shoo! I went ahead and panned out so you guys can see the eyes, the fierce liner. It's looking bomb. I'm so excited about it. So I'm gonna go in now with the NARS. This is the Radiance Primer and apply this on my T-zone. Just gonna be putting about that much on and lightly work it into my skin. This is actually my second time using this primer and I really like the way it left my skin. It didn't mattify it, which I like. Um, anything that's too mattifying, I find, makes me look very, very dry. And being a dry person, it's just not a great combo for me. I love matte foundations, but Matte primers just don't do anything for me. And let me see if there's any, no, there's not much details on what it does, but I can assure you that it did make my makeup look smoother and last, and of course, gave me a really nice radiance, which I really appreciated. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the shade Barcelona, and then the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade All Men. Great combo right here. This is actually my summer shade, but again, you guys know, I don't mind, especially with the look like this, I really want it to pop and stand out. And I'm gonna be applying this on with a brush from Real Techniques. Honestly, watching foundation go into my skin is so therapeutic. It's just fascinating. Foundation and actually gloss are my things that make me the happiest. And this is definitely in my top like 10 foundations that I really like a lot. See how it just, see how the skin look, it's like second skin full coverage, it's so nice. 
A little bit about this foundation, I'm sure you guys already know, but for those of you guys who don't know, this is actually a long wear foundation, up to 16 hours. Um, I like it because it's breathable, lightweight, but I'm still getting a really nice full coverage. They have a really great color range. A lot of their colors also run with the golden undertone. So I like that because my skin does pull a lot of yellow, a lot of olive in it. So for me, it's easy to find shade in the foundation. All right, so we're gonna go in now with the Almond Concealer. Kinda need a lot of concealer. I haven't been sleeping too much lately. I'm trying to get like on a better system of going to bed early. Like I don't work out Tuesdays or Thursdays. I take those days off. I don't know why, I just take them off. Those are the days that I find myself just like staying up so late because I'm like, yes, I don't have to be up at like five in the morning. I'm gonna go in with the beauty blender and just start pouncing this over the concealer. See, so just brighten that up instantly. I'm gonna go now and take in Toffee, take in this foundation brush and just kind of sweep the product onto my cheeks and just kind of try to follow, follow my cheekbones. I'm also gonna grab a thinner brush and just kind of add it to the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna actually go back in with that Real Technique, Technique brush. I'm just gonna clean off the excess amount of foundation that may be just sitting on there. I actually don't mind that it does have foundation because it creates like a really nice blend with the contour and the foundation together, but kind of just take away any of the excess that may be just chilling on there. This year just really flew by. I feel like this was one of the fastest years that I've ever experienced in my life. Like every year just seems to get faster and faster. And especially around the holidays, I feel like, you know, I have to stop and be like, whoa, what do you say? Like, how did that go by so quick? I'm gonna kind of blend out my nose contour. I'm just gonna start by kind of buffing up and down and then going into my actual brows, like kind of blending into there. You know, I'm thinking about doing a video, um, mainly on just like highlight and contouring and just starting off with like only those products, like not even my eyes. I usually like to do my eyes first because I am kind of a messy worker and I feel like I love seeing like everything come together. And I just kind of want to change up to certain things. Like I know I have a routine in the way I like to do my makeup, but I do want to cater to everybody and constantly create different stuff. Maybe like start trying like editorial looks, minimalist looks, avant-garde looks, like really switch it up. I feel like I try to do it and then I just kind of go back into like my routine. Come the new year, I'm gonna start really trying to incorporate different stuff. Um, different things and just really take my more time with my content in general. I'm gonna set my skin with the ColourPop No Filter Powder in the shade Light. And this is just like a very sheer pressed powder. I'm just gonna pretty much place this in my T-zone area. So coming into the new year, I was telling myself like, what are some resolutions that are achievable and I can keep and things that will better myself. So I'm gonna tell you guys what they are. So my first one is to, first and foremost, stop procrastinating. I procrastinate so much and it is by far the worst habit that I have. Like I have all day to get things done, but I decide to do things at the very last minute. For example, right now, it's almost one o'clock in the morning and I'm still filming, but I have all day to get things done. So I really wanna stop procrastinating. I really wanna start getting on a, in a good work schedule. I no longer wanna feel like I work from home. I could just, you know, work whenever because what happens is I work this late or I work last minute or I put things off until literally deadlines. So I really wanna get on a schedule of work where I take the weekends off so I can enjoy my life and not work on the weekends, but also work, let's say for example, Monday through Friday and I finish all my filming and all my work and emails and everything by let's say seven o'clock at night and then that way I can enjoy the rest of my evening, watch TV, catch up on a movie, spend time with Sebastian, Ollie, my family and whatnot because right now I find my schedule to be a little wild. It's kind of all over the place. Like I don't really have a set schedule and I just want to get on a better system. You know, we, we, we try different things all the time, but we always just, you know, go back to being procrastinators. Going in with Mac Give Me Life Bronzer from the Patrick Star Summer Collection. Another resolution for the new year is that I want to really learn how to cook. Um, I think I've said this a million times, guys. I do not know how to cook for the life of it. I can make four bomb things and that is it. Don't ask me anything else but that. I know people say it's really easy and you just gotta, you just gotta try. But I swear guys, I, I put so much salt and stuff. Like I do not know how to measure things. I make things just like not taste good at all. And we end up having to go somewhere neat because it just doesn't come out good. So I really wanna learn how to cook and how to make homemade meals. Um, you know, growing up my whole life, all I had was homemade meals. We didn't really go out too, too much and nothing is better than a homemade meal. I'm gonna go in now with the Lawless Seal the Deal powder and do a little bit of baking underneath my eyes. I am gonna use some of my Laura Mercier Little Puffs. 
and kind of some travel goals I want to do this year. I really want to go to Asia, Croatia, and Colombia. Those are on my bucket list this year. All right, I'm going to go back on my palette and do a little bit of smoky smoky underneath the eye. So I'm going to go in first with Nostalgia and then Lomo and then go from there. Taking in Lomo and I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on there and make it a little more wet. Something I really like about the shade Lomo is that it has a little bit of a metallic finish in there. Like it's not matte, but it's not shimmery. It's just like, I don't know, it got, so it got a little twist in there to it. So it's really nice as a lid color and even as like a lower lash line color because you get a little bit of a shine to it. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade the Vina and apply this pretty much to the outer corner of my eye. Kind of just ombre in my way in. And then right here, I'm just gonna slightly go up and then connect it into the wing. It just kind of snatches and pulls the eye together. Back and forth with Lomo and the Vina right in the middle, just to kind of make it a nice ombre. I'm gonna go ahead and start to just dust off the excess powder. This is a Lancome 25 brush. It's honestly really nice. This is one of those brushes that when you get it, it's already like nicely worked in. I don't know why, but I love it and appreciate it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and set my skin with some Fix Plus. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with the Marc Jacobs Fine Wine Eyeliner. This is really great if you are working with colors like this and you really wanna make this shadow pop. Just right on the waterline and then work it back and forth. I'm gonna grab Lomo and then again, just set right over the liner. And then now I'm just gonna go ahead and top off my lower lashes with the mascara. A few more things to do, just gonna add some highlight into my lips. So I'm gonna go in now with the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlight in the shade number two. And it's gonna hit right there. You can never have too much highlight. We're gonna go ahead and finish off my lips. So today I'm gonna use my Sueño de Coco shade and I'm gonna pair it with the MAC Cork Liner. So this is a really gorgeous nude brown. However, depending on the liner you use it with, it's gonna change colors, which is why I really like it. So if you do a dark brown liner, you're gonna get more of a brown lip. If you do it with the lighter brown liner, it's gonna look more of a tan color. This color cork is kind of like the in-between shade. I found it to be so perfect with this look, so I'm just going to line and then show y'all how it looks. I'm gonna start off by doing a pretty thick line on my lips, and then from there I'm gonna grab a brush and blend it in. No lie, it's still like a pretty dark shade, but it's so good. So now I'm gonna go in with Sonia de Coco and just kind of go over the lip liner. Oh my God, dreamy. I just love it. It's literally orgasmic. Chido. Gonna set it all in with some setting spray. Okay, so that concludes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this first look. As I mentioned before, go ahead and leave me any requests for future looks you wanna see me do with the palette. Let me know your thoughts on it, guys. And if you guys do get the collection, be sure to create some looks and tag me in your photos so I can repost them and share them with the rest of my online family. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you are not. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.